All right, I haven't been on YouTube as much this month. Don't worry, I will be back, you know, full force. But what have I been doing? Well, I have been working on this house. I'm gonna tell you the story of buying my first house. It was actually in 2020 that I decided to buy a house after, after I realized that someone one year older than me had just bought his third house and for some reason I hadn't bought one because I was thinking small. So I decided I at my age was totally capable of buying a house. Mindset is everything first. And then uh, I was able to come up with the down payment and and by a, I was in the middle of closing on the house when things went south with Fox Corp. That is uh, the summer of 2020 when Fox Corp began to persecute me and th threaten to fire me for allowing viewers to hear factual information. I was stunned. Um, they were also sending threats associated with my pro-free speech stance. Suddenly the corporate news didn't want to be pro-free speech, although free speech is the essence of free press can't have free press without free speech. Anyway, I knew I got to get out of this corporation. I've got to quit my dream job. I've got to figure out a way out. You couldn't quit because I was locked into a contract. I was, I was owned by them because of this contract. So there I was like making this strong decision once Fox had crossed the crucial line in what it is to be a journalist. Fox had made a hard decision of we are going to trample journalism and if you don't help us trample journalism you're fired Ivory so I said I'm out summer 2020 middle of closing on this house and I remember I was out shooting a story talking to my coworker about this and my coworker said do you really want to go through with buying this house when you're planning on leaving your job. And I said, absolutely, because property is a very important investment. It's a, a reliable investment, especially in 2020. And um, if I have uncertain times ahead, I want to be invested in something that is appreciating in value. And uh, property was going way up in value at that time. The amount of equity I've made in this house, fast forward, oh my gosh. Uh, but anyway, so I said, I'm gonna do it. My coworker thought I was crazy. Uh, so closing day, closing day buying this house is when Fox uh, officially presented me with the letter riddled with lies about me, untruths, made stuff up, ending with, if you do this again, you're fired. So things that I hadn't done, if I do them again, I'm fired. And that also the, the truthful thing I had done, allowing viewers to see what a doctor was actually using to treat patients during the pandemic. If, if I allowed them to see the truth again, I'd also be fired. So I was presented with that letter, as I recall, on my closing day in this house. What a time to be alive. So I immediately knew I'm not going to actually live in this house. Property is a great investment if you, um, especially if you don't live in it, <laughs> rent it out or resell it. Yeah, that, there's where you make the bucks. So I, I did, I mean, I did live in it to start out with because I had planned on that. I spent only about three months in the house and immediately started looking for a renter. So I found a renter. Once I got someone to rent it, I had that person move right in. I moved out, stayed with a friend, said, I'm just going to stay month to month with a friend because my entire future is uncertain due to Fox. Meanwhile, that renter was paying my mortgage and then some. That is the benefit of real estate. So just like that, before I had ever planned to, I became a landlady and a real estate investor in 2020. I was pushed into that faster than planned due to Fox's corruption. 
I knew that real estate could help a little bit to protect me if, you know, if I'm losing my salary and planning on throwing my salary with Fox out, which I did a few months later, um, at least I could get a little bit of side revenue from this house and if need be resell it because month over month property was just increasing in value equity, equity gains just crazy during that time um, just in the past few months now that we're in 2023 just in the past few months uh, property value has more e evened out and stopped catapulting upward but by this point 2023 the equity I've gained on this house, I'm so grateful for. It was such a blessing that I dove into pro property in a very uncertain time in my life, in my career. So that renter ended up staying in the house for two years. It was a two year at least the renter did. And I decided after that, let me try my hand at Airbnb. I have heard good things about Airbnb hosting and the revenue potential with that and so that is what I'm doing right now is I've been in this month of March getting the house ready for Airbnb getting my first Airbnb guests moved in uh, and making sure it is a nice uh, welcoming comfortable place uh, for Airbnb um, we've got a landscaper in the front yard right now, making sure that the lawn is pretty as well. And real estate is really fun for me. I think it is really important for me to continue doing this little real estate thing as a journalist, because when a journalist only makes their money from their news coverage, I think they're more compromisable. I think that if your journalism is the sole source of your money, you're you're more likely to have people try to pay you to cover the news in a certain way, which, you know, uh, disjoins you from your loyalty to your viewers, your loyalty to the truth. Um, so as a journalist, a news, anal a news analyst, what I've been doing a lot, um, I think that doing this real estate thing is really key to keeping my news coverage untainted. I never want to be tempted to cover news in an, you know, un, you know, in a way that is not just for the viewer's best interest and for the truth. So. That is what I've been doing. Uh, it's been taking a lot more work than I thought to get this Airbnb going. Wish me luck. I hope it really works out uh, in the long term with this. And it's actually something that is really fun. I really enjoy it. It's so different than news and it's really healthy, I think, to diversify um, your activities. <laughs> So with that being said, you guys have a good one. Just thought I would fill you in. Have a blessed day.